In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a simple budget tracker using Google Sheets. So that way you can track your upcoming expenses and income, which I think is pretty useful as a young adult or just to anyone in general. And the one I'll be making is so simple that you could probably just do it yourself in five minutes. And I'll show you exactly on how to do it. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So here I am on a new Google Sheets document, and I'm just going to type in 2024 budget tracker, right? And with this, I'm just going to make the title a little bit larger. If you go to the very front and you do Windows key and a dot, you can actually type in uh an emoji so i'm just gonna put the money sign here just to make it look nice and next i'm going to be typing the month that i'm going to be doing this for which is going to be january you could always duplicate the sheet so if you want to make it for february march april whatever you can always have different sheets here so you can just rename this to just january next up is i'm going to type in the income here and I'm going to type in expenses here, right? So you obviously you have your paycheck, your income and your expenses that you spend on. I'm just going to expand this, uh, you know, the column size a little bit. And what I can also do as well is just kind of color code them. So I like to make them the income to be a little bit more green and the expenses to be red just because it signifies me like, hey, money's in, money's out, right? Um, and the following columns of them, I, I like to also do a lighter shade of green where I could still kind of read it and a lighter shade of red. You want to also make the column over the same color scheme because we're going to start categorizing what kind of expenses we're spending, whether it's your wants, whether it's your needs, whether it's your savings or whatever it is that you're going to be categorizing them, which is actually the great thing about this budget tracker. Once this is done, I'm going to go to the right here and I'm going to type in total income and I'm going to type in total expenses here. Since these are going to be monetary values, I'm just going to select the whole column and I'm going to click format as currency. Same for this one right here, right down the middle. And like I said earlier, I'm going to start categorizing what kind of expenses I'm spending, right? So I'm going to insert here a drop down. I'm going to categorize it very, very generally, but you could also become very specific in what you're spending if you're consistent with your spendings. So here I'm just going to type in needs for option one, wants for option two and savings for option three. So it's going to be following the 50, 30, 20 rule where you kind of spend 50% on needs, 30% on wants and 20% on savings. Again, you could adjust that accordingly, but that's just how I'm going to do it. So for needs here, I'm going to color it red for wants, I'm going to color it yellow and for savings, I'm just going to color it green just to make it easy to look to read later on. Right. I'm going to hit done here and I could always drag this drop down all the way down here. So all my expenses have that categorization. I'm also going to go ahead and bolt this and color code this as well, just for easy uh, to make it easier on the eyes. And now we're almost done. All I'm going to do is just type in my goals. So for example, I'm going to type in my needs, my wants and my savings goals. Again, you could have as many goals, as many categories as you want, but these are the ones I'm doing and I'm going to have the actual here. So I have the actual needs, wants and savings. So I have my goals and I have my savings, right? So now what I can start doing is I can start typing in formula. So for the total income, I'm just going to do an equal sign of sum. And what are we going to take a sum of sum of column B, obviously, because the, those are going to be the income. Total expenses, I'm going to take another sum of column D because those are going to be a sum of my expenses. So if I type in $10 here, $20 here, you can see it starts adding them up. And now for your goals here and your actual here, you can actually select this column and make a percentage, right? So let's just say you want to spend uh, your income 50% of it on needs, 30% of it on wants, and you want to save 20% of it. So this means that the column after that, I want to make this so I have a percentage and I have a monetary value of how much 50% of my income is. So I'm going to do an equal sign here, take my income right here and then multiply it by the 50%. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take this, multiply this by this number here, and it's going to autofill and it's going to do the same thing where it's going to take H5, which is basically this number and multiply it by I11, which is the savings. So if we, for example, have a thousand dollar in our income for paycheck, it already automatically sorts that. 50% of $500 of it is going to be the needs, $300 is going to be the wants, and $200 of it is going to be saved. That's going to be my goals. Now we're going to do this backwards, but we're going to do it with our expenses this time, right? So now we're going to do an equal sign over here saying that, okay, how much did I really spend, right? So for doing so, I'm going to do a sum if. Sum if means it's going to sum it if a condition is met, right? If this field right here is equal to needs, then we're going to sum this field of whatever it is that is a need, right? And I'm going to format this into currency as well. You can see how this is currently zero at the moment, right? But if I start adding needs and I start having like $50 here, it's going to start summing it up the $50. But if I don't, if it's a want, then it's not going to categorize it. It's not going to sum it up, right? It's only going to sum this up if it's a need here on this expense part. Now I could kind of copy the same formula here and here, but this time instead of needs, I could change it to wants, right? And this time here I could change it to savings. 
So now it's going to start summing everything up here according to its category. And now to calculate that percentage as well, we can do kind of backwards where we could do equal here. And I'm going to take this amount of money that I spent on needs and divide that by my income. So then I get a percentage here and I could also do the same thing here where I could do equals to this, right? Divided by income equal to this divided by divided by income. Perfect. So now we have this and now we can see how much of uh, money that we're actually spending uh, in accordance to our income, right? So for example, if we spend $500 on our needs, then we, we pretty much hit our goal here. We have a goal of 50% and we spent actually 50% on needs. Um, if we, for example, set a goal of 30%, we want to spend $300 on wants and we only spent 20, per, $20 or 2% that month, you can actually kind of visually track here of uh, the differences and the different values here that we have. You can also do a formula where you could try to subtract this and this so you could have a net of, you know, net positive and net negative of how much you spent. But this is just a good way to measure about how much uh, of that money are you spending that month. So last but not least, I'm just going to color code this over here. So I'll just make it yellow. It's kind of a little bit easier in the eyes just to see what I'm looking at. And pretty much we've actually just completed our budget tracker. Um, just some more formatting uh, stuff that I can do here. It's just like merging it together and uh, censoring stuff like this. So making it look all pretty. And here we go. We have our simple budget tracker that you could actually track and categorize your expenses and kind of keep in track and keep in mind of where you're actually landing within your goals. Also, don't forget to format all the different things to currency here and percentages uh, accordingly. And again, you could have as many categories as you want, follow the exact same formula that I did. But this is just a really basic example that I've done to make it easier on you guys. So let's just kind of uh, do a mock trial here and see how it works. So, for example, here you got a paycheck and your paycheck is $1,500. And you got another income, for example, some, um, you know, side hustle, right? Side hustle one, you got $250. Side hustle two, you got, I don't know, four, $542, for example. So now it tracks your total income of how much you've made that, uh, that month. Now, we're going to tra track our expenses as well. So our expenses, for example, we're going to talk about uh, gas. We, we, need, we need gas, and we spent $450 on gas. Uh, we ate out today, and we ate out good. We ate at a steakhouse, and it costed about 180 bucks. And that's that's definitely a want. And then our mandatory savings. Let's just add another need, for example, like uh, utility, uh, for example, electricity bill. Right. And our electricity bill to this month was seventy five dollars. And that was a need. So you can tell here that we spent twenty two point ninety one percent on needs or five hundred twenty five dollars to be exact. Seven point eighty five percent on wants or one hundred eighty dollars to be exact. And we've saved about twenty percent of our um, money of our income. So again, with this budget tracker in mind, you could actually visually see how much you're spending in different categories. And it's pretty simple to make, I would say. And every young adult who's trying to budget and who's trying to track their income exp and expenses should definitely have this budget tracker in your Google Sheets. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.